So before I get choked up, let me officially kick off our final White House holiday season. This year's holiday theme is the gift of the holidays. And as usual, we're gonna be celebrating our country's greatest gifts with special decorations celebrating our military families. Down in the booksellers when you walk in, uh, the visitors that come will see a tree and a flag display composed of pictures of military families who my husband and I have met on bases and in communities around the world over the course of our time here. The tree is hung with gold ornaments honoring America's greatest heroes, the men and women who have given their lives for our country. After that, uh, they'll move on to see a number of other decorations that celebrate the gifts we share as a nation. For example, in the library, we're honoring the gift of a great education. So when guests head upstairs, right next door, we have our 19-foot-tall White House Christmas tree. It's really big. They have to take out the chandeliers and rearrange everything just to get the tree in the house. And that's in our blue room. And in the state dining room, you're, you're gonna spot the official White House gingerbread house. So when you see it, guys, it's made of all, everything on it is something you can eat. And our pastry chefs have worked very hard to make this house possible. It is beautiful. They've got the replica of the new uh, White House garden and Bow and Sunny and lots of cool stuff. And then somewhere around the house, we have supersized replicas of Bo and Sonny guarding their presents because we don't let them have their presents. I'm just kidding. They get presents. They're fine. Uh, but we can't wait to start welcoming people into their White House this holiday season. And to everyone who created these stunning displays, all our volunteers, all our all the folks who helped make this happen, I want to once again say thank you. You all did a phenomenal job once again in turning this house into a magical place. And to all the military families, those of you who are here today and all those around the world, uh, I want to once again honor you for your service and your sacrifice and your love of this nation. Uh, it's a love that my family and I share along with you. It has been such a complete ple pleasure uh, to support you in this time. So I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy holiday season. All right?